Hello, it's Andy Graham with the Ask Andy Show. I'm in Vilcabamba, Ecuador, and uh, a lot of people are comparing Cuenca to uh, Vilcabamba, and both of them have benefits. The, the major benefit of Vilcabamba uh, versus Cuenca is that Vilcabamba is a small place and there's a lot of farming stuff, while Cuenca is a big city and you got a lot of things going on. So Vilcabamba is like a small place in uh, Indiana, like where I live, in, in the farm area. And Cuenca is more like, uh, you know, like, a, you know, a, I can't say Chicago, like a small Chicago or something. But the, the big difference is, is we're retiring overseas to, uh, a lot of people want to retire abroad so they save money. There's a lot more to do in Cuenca than Vilcabamba, but Vilcabamba is a lot more farmy and you got a lot of these raw fooders here. Okay, but I want to talk about the temperature. Okay, the difference between the temperature and Vilcabamba, I got, I'm going to show you a graph of Vilcabamba right now. Okay, you looked at the graph and you'll see that Vilcabamba on average has uh, somewhere between, say, 65 and 68 degrees average temperature. Now I want to show you the graph on Cuenca. Now if you look at the graph on Cuenca, somewhere between 53 and, say, 58 degrees things. So it's almost a 10 degree Fahrenheit colder place to live. Uh, you really got to get in touch with this though because uh, you know some people like it cold and some people like it hot and you got to you know it's a personal preference right but generally in, in Cuenca it's going to also rain a lot more. Let me uh, also show you a, a different type of graph which would show the highs and lows for the cities. Okay, so you can see there on Vilcabamba, the highest temperature, average, maximum highest they show is, let's see, 78 degrees. Um, what is it, July right now, 76 degrees for the month I'm in right now. And I'd say that about, uh, but it can be really quite chilly in the morning in Vilcabamba. So it's, uh, I wake up at real early, so it's a thing. Let me show you now the Cuenca graph. Okay, you can see Cuenca, the highest they got here is, let's see, 67 degrees. So on average, the maximum temperature that it'd ever get to is 67 degrees. Now what you might want to do is, and the lowest is, let's see, right around 45 degrees. Uh, so what you want to do is try to think about your uh, thermostat in your house and what temperature you keep that at and whether you consider it comfortable or uncomfortable and if you like to wear a jacket or you like, like to wear it. Uh, also on this thing it shows the, the amount of uh, rainfall so you might do it. Um, what I'm going to do now though is I'm going to show very slowly each one of these graphs hopefully give you about 10 to 15 seconds yeah, maybe I'll give you 15 seconds per graph so you can look at them and uh, of course I'll I'll probably be putting these, I, I, I'm not going to probably, I will be putting these in the city guide that I'm doing for Vilcabamba. Not the Cuenca one, but I'll do the Vilcabamba one. And just let you to know, a lot of people have some very big misconceptions about uh, the, you know, in the tropic zone or these, uh, what they would consider hotter countries, right? Is that it's always hot. But a lot of the cities in Central and South America are at, uh, you know, above uh, 5,000 feet. Some of them can be quite cold, but the, the, the thing to always remember is the rainfall also increases. So if you, you kind of also calculate the rainfall, and if you're going to be a snowbird or a dyslexic snowbird, one that would be in Florida living and coming down here during the summer, during the summer, because sometimes it's so hot in Florida and so humid that you might want to come down here as like a dyslexic snowbird. But um, a lot of these places are good for, for snowbirds to come down. A snowbird is a person that basically leaves, uh, you know, their home country and comes down to a different country, or they go to Florida during the winter, right, and have a place. But um, it's, it's actually, you know, a very 
both of these places are pretty good for either the snowbirds or the dyslexic snowbird. But uh, you always got to know the elevation. Now, elevation is the, the, the distance above sea level, and altitude is the really the... Um, because the higher you go, the colder it gets, but the altitude is for like an airplane, the distance above uh, the ground. So you, really it's elevation, okay? Okay, but I was trying to give you an insight of the, the temperature, but um, I do know that here in Vilcabamba, you know, you kind of like a light jacket about 6 o'clock in the morning, but I never wear one because within an hour it's, it's warm, right? Okay, thank you. If you have any questions, write me at hoboontheroad at yahoo.com and... Uh, I'll try to answer your questions on video. We can pack up tomorrow.